Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be making healthy lemon bars and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in the next two seconds, so stay tuned. And please don't forget to press that subscribe and at least like this video so I can make more content. Thank you. So first thing I have is everything for the crust and this is half a stick of butter, a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of honey, and then one and a half cups of oat flour and the oat flour I just put in a blender. I just take oats and put them in a blender and kind of mix them all up. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up together to create kind of like a dough. And I'm also going to add one egg white in here to kind of bind everything together to make it super easy. I might not need it actually. I really like using this oat flour because it's gluten free. And it's a little bit healthier than using regular flour. I might not need that egg. Okay, so I won't put the egg white in. Looks like I don't need it. So I'm just using a fork. My butter is at room temperature. I'm mixing this all up together. And once it's like this, where it's all combined, then I'm going to transfer it into a baking pan. Alright, so I'm going to add the crust. And I have parchment at the bottom. And I'm just going to divide this between my two crusts. Whenever you have like a sticky dough, take your hand and just wipe them. And that way you don't have to add, especially with something like this where there's no flour, any like additional flour. And that way it doesn't really stick to your hands. Makes it a lot easier. I just get in there though. And then we're going to Spread this out. It's working really well for me. Me resisting not getting parchment or anything. Okay. That's just more oat flour because. This is getting sticky. Okay. And this is as uh, good as we're going to get here, guys. Okay, I've been set at 350. And put these in for like 10 minutes. work on the curd. I have a quarter cup of swerve. You can use honey if you want, whatever's going to work for you. I have two lemons and I'm going to use all the zest for this. And I'm zesting where I can see the zest so that I'm only pulling the rind. So I'm collecting it in this microplane because if I do this, I end up getting a lot of the white, which I don't want because it makes your curd very bitter. So that's all my lemons. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half because I'm going to need at least three quarters of a cup, but I'll use all the lemon juice in here. And then I need four eggs. Okay, and then I'm going to whisk this up a little bit, before I add in my lemon juice. And you don't have to do this swerve. But we're trying to do minimal sugar here. Just whisking until it's mostly done. And then I'm going to add in my lemon juice using my juicer. I think I might only need one lemon. I think we only need one lemon. I only need one cup of juice. So I think one lemon is enough. I'm just gonna whisk this to combine the the yolks. And the whites together. Just to make sure those whites are really broken up. So it should be a little foamy, but well mixed. And then I'm gonna add some vanilla. Just a little bit of vanilla, just cause there's no vanilla in it. <coughs> and for the butter too, you could always use coconut oil. All right, so it's well mixed. I'm gonna check on my crust. Okay, so I'm gonna pour my mixture in. And I'm going to do half in here and half in here. And I'm put them in the oven for 40 minutes. Here's my lemon bar. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then put the powdered sugar on it.
I'm going to cut them smaller. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy. These are good to refrigerate. I would refrigerate these or put them in the freezer. And they are ready to go. Yum!